So when I say disruption, what I'm pointing out here is factors that change in your external environment, outside your organization, typically things that you, as a leader in your organization, cannot control. But the most important thing about this is they have the ability to render what you do in your organization as ineffective or irrelevant going forward. Whether it be a technological change, a change in customer preferences, a change in demographic composition, regulatory practices, or social issues. All of these things have the ability to take something that you do well and make it ineffective or irrelevant. And note, it is not the case that a disruption takes what you're doing and makes you incompetent. So this is one of the things that many leaders make a mistake in thinking. They think that, well, when something happens externally, what we will do to be successful is we'll get better at what we're doing. We will stick to our knitting, as they say, right? And we'll double down on those activities that we've had success in the past. It is not about that. The way that I think about it, the, the, the last typewriter made by the most successful typewriter company on the planet was the best typewriter they ever made. It was not that they were incompetent. It was that the thing that they were doing was irrelevant. So oftentimes we look at this and there's a very negative tone. There's a threat associated with it. I don't look at these things necessarily as being bad or good. And in fact, I came across this newspaper article last year. Uh, this was published in the Financial Review in Australia. And it was talking about the movement of Amazon into the Australian market for the first time. And there was obviously a lot of concerns about what this meant for retail within Australia. But I think this article's title is very accurate. It says, Amazon, threat and opportunity. And I emphasize the and. It certainly is the case that this represents a threat to certain types of business models. For example, if you have invested heavily in physical facilities, uh, high rent retail spaces, this might be a challenge for you. But the presence of a disruption also creates very interesting opportunities that can allow organizations to have success they would have never have had before. So say, for example, you were an Australian small vendor. You did not have a lot of capital. You were unable to invest in retail space in very prime locations because you just simply did not have the money. And you thought perhaps you might sell your products online, but that was not seen as legitimate by the broader populace. Do you think Amazon coming to the market and providing online retail will help you? It will actually make people more comfortable to buy products online, which gives you an audience now that would previously not have considered using your services in that way? Probably yes. So I don't see a disruption as necessarily bad or good. What I do think, though, is a disruption highlights capabilities. And then the challenge becomes, as leaders, how do you create the capabilities in your organization that leverage the disruption that is occurring, whether it be a technological one, a social one, or a competitive one? 